Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming, a more endless legend, Symbiosis playing as the Mycara. We are in a pretty good position right now. I don't know if we're running away with the game per se, but at least score-wise we are on par with the Cultists at 589. Again, that doesn't mean a lot because score is kind of irrelevant, it just gives you a rough sense of how you're doing. But uh, you can absolutely have the lowest score and still win. It really depends a lot on what you end up doing. Alright, so let's see. We're going to send these guys up here to continue with Lust for Loot. We could immediately turn our attention to attacking the roving clans. Uh, however, we could also spend a little bit of time trying to work on my faction quest since we have neglected that for a little while. So we probably should do that. 25 Quicksilver for me. Alright, not so bad. And if we go to the next one, we get Exotic Alloys uh, in addition to the Blood Crystals. Exotic Alloys, not outrageously helpful to me at this point in the game. Because uh, it is tier 3 weapons for titanium and glass steel. Now, granted, this is literally the only way to get tier 3 weapons of titanium or glass steel. You can only research up to tier 2. So quests are the only way to get this, and it is nice to have. And I suppose, worse come to worse, it does give me like a backup if I ever am running out of Admantine or Palladian. We could always equip someone with weapons that are actually kind of close to equivalent in power to uh, tier 1 Adamantine and Palladian stuff for a material I might have in abundance. So it's really not such a bad thing to have, and I'll, I'll try for it, but ideally it's also not going to be that important. Oh, of course, it's all the way over here. Why wouldn't it be? Okay, well, we did know we were about to have um, a dust eclipse, but I'm going to try to make my way over there in the next 11 turns. As long as the Alai do not close their borders, we should be A-OK. -okay. All right, so you're just going to sit tight because I know we're about to have our dust eclipse. Now, let's see, we had to go to three ruins in Brenla, Katamis, and Ecoten. Where is that? Um, is that down here? There it is. Okay. So, the three regions that border my um, capital region, which I think is how this faction quest always works. Like, sometimes faction quests will send you to places you've never heard of. It certainly seems to me like... Um, in this, uh, this particular faction's uh, quest line, you always get stuff nearby. Okay, let's see. So, this is supposed to be a conflux, but it's kind of hiding itself. There it is, a movement conflux. Uh, is it worth backing up over here to get a movement conflux? The answer is yes, it definitely is. I do like that we have all these roads that are kind of joining things up from the Alai. It means getting around is even easier than ever. Uh, let's see. There was something we had to do over here. I can't remember. What is this? Do we have a quest or something? Let's pop over here and just do something real quick. I can't remember what we had going on. It's got the little quest beams. Oh, there we go. Cool, a relic of the past is done. We get break wall. Cool, I mean, yeah, alright. It's not a bad shield. Um, is it worth the amount of time I've spent not collecting uh, from dust eclipses? Debatable. Let's go ahead and take these two units. Is this movement conflux as well? No, it is uh, empowering. Alright, we're gonna go search this ruin. Actually, something I forgot. If you are building a city over cliffs, you actually don't have to run all the way around. It's kind of assumed that the city has like an elevator or some sort of a system built up so you can go over cliffs. So we've actually increased our mobility in my own capital region a little bit. That's kind of nice. But alright. So yeah, Hero's going to come down here and grab this. Um, you guys are going to go ahead and pick this up. And then can we get over here? Well, it looks like they did indeed close their borders. There it is. Dang. Okay, hang on. Uh, would it be faster then for you to get up here? Six turns? No, I don't think... I think the AI is confused. I think because this is an unexplored area, it's wondering if maybe there's some sort of a land bridge. If I had the tech necessary to uh, get in the water, it would let me do it from over here. So, straight up, we are not able to get to this unless we find a way to get through the Alai land or research uh, transport ships, which are not a super high priority for me. I don't know. I guess I'm kind of okay with just not getting the Tier 3 stuff. I mean, it would have been nice, but it's not that high of a priority. Is this movement... Why are these Confluxes not actually showing up when I'm hovering over them? That's upkeep. I don't show it. Is this movement? Oh, there's movement. 
All right, you're going to go grab the movement conflux over here. Should have done that before. Okay, we're about to finish up our third wonder, which is uh, certainly going to be nice, reducing the science cost of all past era techs. We should be able to level it up pretty quickly and get uh, an extra 25 science out of there, total of 50. So there we go. A giant blue crystal is floating in the air, and we all feel more scientific as a result. Yay! Let's see. Yeah, per level, 25 extra science. That'll add up pretty nicely. We're going to work on this Bro Street, and that should actually be enough to level it up right away. All right, so the population here is still growing pretty nicely. We can go for the Dust Depository, and we shall. We could also go for the Dust Transmuter and maybe do that first. Extra 10 dust on all terrain with dust, of which we have a few. So this would translate into, like, what? 50, 60, 70 extra dust per turn, whereas this is just for every citizen. So the Dust Transmuter is absolutely the better way to go. I mean, I guess we could go for the right-of-way just for movement and stuff, but I don't I don't see that as being all that important. Do I want to speed up the production of the dust transmuter? Sure. Uh, how much can I get away with? Okay, so that gets it done in two turns. If I wanted to pop over here, we can't actually shave off anything for our uh, smelting station. But if I did this, we could shave off a turn. We'd have to put everything onto Smelting Station to get it in three turns. I'm okay with that, because the sooner I can start producing that, the better. And since we have just grown, that seems fine. Let's go ahead and execute all of our movements. Uh, where's the... The other army? All right, you. Okay, so you're going to go grab this. 130 dust. That is empowering. That is upkeep. Just keeping an eye out for any of those movement confluxes, because they make my life so much easier. All right, we get... Aha! That finishes our faction quest. So we have access to Zolia's Blade, a fantastic one-handed weapon for heroes only that costs Hyperium, which I don't have access to right now. Devastation upon devastation! I am ruined anew. I hang here in the cradle of tendrils, crushed under a new weight of knowledge. Centuries have passed. Centuries. I am old beyond mortal comprehension. I am cast adrift from every soul I ever knew. The only sliver of solace is the ancient Volter sword found in the ruins. What is my purpose now? Well, I have a suspicion that we're about to find out by moving on to the next quest chapter. Calm, the Mykera whispers, but I am anything but calm. The growing symbiosis, the melding of myself into the Mykera Collective, has been arrested as I find myself shaken to the very core. Did the Mykera save me? or imprison me. As my soldiers explored the ancient scene of the massacre, relaying their impressions through the mycelial web that stretches across Origa, it was the small details that first alerted me to something being amiss. Flooded corridors and stagnant pools of water, lichen overgrowths and collapsed caverns, rusted machinery and scattered bones. Ironically, it wasn't until they came to the chamber of the Great Orrery that the truth became impossible to deny. Despite the decay all around, the Celestial Mechanism had carried on working flawlessly, a testament to Volter Engineering. Origa had circled its sun 284 times since the Mage's attack. The Urken Beast commanded by the Mages would have returned to the Depths. The Mage who was the architect of the slaughter would have died long ago. The same for their offspring, and their offspring's offspring, and onwards for who knows how many generations. In that thought, though, I find a tiny, devious shard of hope. The mages were a proud people, enraptured by their heritage, traditions, and history. A clan who committed such a famous victory, with an Urken, no less, would likely survive, even prosper through the ages. The clan would be celebrated, songs would be sung in their honor. They wouldn't be hard to find. And so it was. We will not have our revenge on those who committed the massacre, we will have our revenge on their descendants. They will pay for the sins of their ancestors, and they will have a new song to sing. Is there anything sweeter? I war with the Mykera, but I still must avenge the Volter dead. I am first of the bloodline. Okay, so if we can get uh, two roaming armies killed, we'll get 25 Palladian. Which is a barely acceptable reward for me at this point, but okay, I'll take it. Um... 
and is also a movement conflux. I should be picking up a lot of pearls and stuff. I have not been paying much attention to that. But, oh well. I think we can live with it. Uh, Alright, so you have your movement conflux, so we'll be able to move around a lot faster. Not a lot to be had over in this region. Uh, I don't... Are you raising your city? Are you actually raising... Your city. I am I am seeing this correctly, right? Have the Alai decided to commit suicide? Seppuku? I don't know, but it looks like in two or three turns this is gonna be gone. Well that's interesting. I can't say I understand what they are hoping to accomplish. But alrighty. Let's go grab some pearls and stuff, then we'll backtrack, and if this opens up, that's a way for me to continue with the uh, lust for loot after all. I guess we will find out. Let's move on to the next turn. So dust production right now is sitting at 172 total, without any citizens uh, assisting in production. Only 49 base from the city, mostly coming from the fungal blooms. Let's see, our hero is ready for a level up. Okay, we'll pick that up, start working toward the extra attack value. Archer heroes take a while to become valuable, but once they get there, they're pretty darn strong. I am debating whether or not we should work on building out some districts that would allow me to get naval units. I mean, we're working on other more important things right now. But as a general rule, you do not want the AI running uh, unchecked and taking over giant ocean regions, because there's a lot to be had in the ocean. That said, so far it certainly does not appear that anyone has been doing that. Uh, you will come over here and grab this ruin. Mm, probably just gonna be more dust, but if we're lucky it'll be like a bunch of Palladian or something. Nope. Just dust. Okay. I'm not going to complain about free dust. Uh, we could go down here to the Roving Clan's territory. They do not have much in the way of defenses. I have no idea what kind of um, stats we might be looking at for them. Probably nothing too cons inconsequential. Or too consequential. Whatever. Yeah, you go grab these pearls. Um, there's a lot of pearls up here. Eight? Ooh. Let's go grab those as well. We got time, if it turns out that this is going to be gone. Also, I can just teleport. Actually, did I get a ruin down here? I can't remember. I did. Actually, we can teleport down there, and it's a lot faster. Right, what am I doing? Let's go over here and use the fungal bloom to get down there. I like that idea better. Okay, so, that 49 base um, dust and 172 total should increase rather substantially as soon as we're done with this. Wait until the turn processes. I like, by the way, the industrial megapole kind of getting cut into the uh, cliff here. Looks far more organic this way. Kind of cool. Ooh, hello. Some shockingly dangerous centaurs are apparently attacking my vulnerable ipotanes. I'm going to go ahead and retreat. I don't feel like fighting them. I don't know if we can win. Probably could, but why take the risk when I can just go over here and probably outrun them? Get what I needed anyway, and also we regen our health so fast, like who's worried really? Alright, we're gonna go pick this up and then go over this away as of next turn. Polyp has leveled up, we can go for extra defense on the army. I could go for the reinforcement positions or immunity to winter problems, but um, I think I'll go for the extra defense on all units. An extra ten, per, uh, 10 defense is not inconsequential. Alright. So, one more turn until Smelting Station is done. You got those pearls. There are more over here. Another six. Alright, I'm gonna go grab these. And then we'll probably send you down to go kill this roaming army. Well, let's see. Which region are we looking at? Gilia? Or something like that? Um, how many more turns do we have on this? Seven more turns to go. Suwan and Maribond. Actually, we don't have to deal with any of those roaming armies. They're not the ones that matter. Well, never mind, then. Okay. So, in that case, why don't you go... ...to a overgrown temple? Where is one? Do we have one somewhere? I see villages. I thought we did a temple somewhere, did we not? Apparently I am wrong. Okay, well, in that case, just run over here. I have no idea if he is still raising this or not. 
Maybe, uh, maybe like a, f a quest army or something was just outside of my field of view. All right, we're gonna teleport over here. Search, Titan bones. Hey, that's valuable. It's just not enough. We need fifty-three. Yikes. Apparently, I can't search here. I don't know why. All right, moving on. So smelting station will be done. How much dust do we get now, by the way? Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, we've uh, almost doubled our base uh, dust production between those two buildings. That helps. Certainly. Dust Eclipse is over. We got that just in time. I don't really need the right of way, and it looks like we already have uh, buildings built up. Trade routes, zero out of two. Yeah, I guess I could technically have a trade route with the roving clans if we wanted to open borders, but... I don't know that I care about that. So let's see. Who's... Okay, so a minor faction is burning down the city. I think that is exactly what was happening. I think a minor faction or some sort of a quest army was attacking over here. Well, um... What were the, uh... What were the, uh... Cities I had to go to? Maribon and Suwan. No, 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 no. One here. I have no idea where Maribon is. We are going to have to do some exploring, I guess. Well, let's pop up over here just in case. This is still being sieged down somehow. And other than that, we're going to go pearl hunting. Since I don't have a lot else going on at the moment. Hello, Forgotten Army. Change of plans. We're going to come over here and we're going to kill you. I don't know what you thought you were going to accomplish by running through my territory. But I'm still fairly certain that you are a lot weaker than I am. And since you've so very conveniently walked into my lands where I can attack you, we are going to do that. Now, of course, it's all like, oh, no, there's a bunch of cities. And there are. And he's running away. Smart choice. So let's see. The Forgotten actually have grown a lot. They have three cities now. No, I take that back. Four. One region here, 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 and here. Yeah, they've actually grown rather substantially. We could get a lot of extra fungal blooms by attacking them in the future. You've leveled up again. Let's go for another 15%. Or wait, how long until winter? Five turns until winter. You know what? It actually could be worth getting cold operator at this point. There's the heroes. I keep forgetting which button is it. Um... Yeah, in five turns specifically, and then we can get rid of all the negative effects in my capital city. Which is pretty good. We're going to go ahead and pick that up, because I think it's going to be longer than five turns before um, he's able to do much of anything. Let's see. So you are going to go here, I guess. I could technically go to war with the Forgotten again if I wanted to. That would be permissible. Let's go to next turn and see if I can't attack his army immediately again. I don't think he'll reinforce it, and we can get some free kills. A lot of free kills make him a lot weaker. He's grown quite a garrison. I see six units in each of those cities. That is a lot. He's not going to run away this time because he thinks he might as well get some free damage in, and he is correct, generally speaking, that is what you would want to do. Ended up toward the front. Have a hero. Actually, going to switch around. These ended. Uh, bump you guys forward a little bit. Kind of weakens the morale a little, but I'm okay with it. And yeah, we're just going to go ahead and attack as is. I'm not even going to bother trying to control everything. The pew. The pew. We have the initiative. We can do some serious damage. We're going to wipe out all of these guys. And then the Ended are going to start pushing forward to get a front line against the rest of their oncoming assassins. So he's going to get some free hits in. Of course, we do have a counterattack as well. We might lose this Ended if we're not careful here. But I don't think he's easily going to get to me. Unfortunately, this Ended goes before the other one. Otherwise, I would happily have this one run forward, attack one of these guys so they don't have a counterattack, and then let him get a free hit on for more Chain Lightning. But, it does not appear that that is going to be an option. So, instead, we're going to have him back off. And the rest of you just bombard anyone in range. Should be easy enough for you. 
Pew pew. Pew pew. This ended's gonna run very slightly. Chain lightning. And then the hero gets to run forward for a little extra damage. Not quite dead, and it deaths to attack me one more time. Well, I find that to be just downright unfortunate. Barely didn't get enough damage in, but okay. Still didn't lose anything. Oh, is this the, um... No, I saw the spores coming out of the city, and I thought maybe this was the temple where we'd be able to uh, teleport around. I was incorrect, unfortunately. Let's see, I cannot go into his territory. Found one of their cities... So there are three relatively close together. By attacking, let's say, this one, we probably would draw on everything. So if we did attack them again, we want to come over from, like, the side. Which seems sensible. Probably would want to attack them from right here and lay siege, so maybe the city wouldn't get called in, but I'm pretty sure it would. Pretty darn sure. Bro Streets are done. We can go ahead and grab another one. This will complete the triangle and level up another district, maybe two districts, so we can get a good amount of approval. Uh, still fervent right now. Need to keep it that way. The wine, however, is going to be gone soon-ish. We probably do need to get bread and circuses, if I'm being honest. This will be enough to get me up into Era 4. Which, fortunately, does reduce the cost of things like bread and circuses, because then the Alchemic Institute gives us a uh, cost reduction. But even so. Where do I want to go with you? Okay. So I'm guessing the city is not being pillaged anymore. Well, I guess I can't find out for sure. Let's pop up over here. I want vision. I want to know what's going on here. Hello? Uh, they are actually still being pillaged. They're under siege, all right. Huh. Well, that is fun, isn't it? Okay. I mean, it's not like I can attack them or anything. I just want to keep an eye on it because I think it's interesting. Um, let's go up to one of our temples so we can use to teleport around, which is all the way over here, right? Oh, good lord. I can't actually find these things worth anything. We had a temple. Was it up here? How do I find my Fungal Bloom temples again? At least there's one right here we can use. I thought we had one up here somewhere, but I can't find it anymore. Ugh. Irritating. All right, let's go ahead and start getting the uh, adamantium deposits. I think I forgot about that. Palladian. Can't do anything over there. That is literally all I have right now? Man, that's not that much. It's a little disappointing, actually. Okay, uh, you still have some movements. Um, I'm going to have you go on the defensive for the time being. We're going to teleport an army up here if we can. What's this? Oh, here's more adamantium. How did I miss that? Oh, there's more palladium down here. I'm missing a bunch of things. Any more? I don't think so. I think that is actually it. Okay, so we'll be able to get an extra one of each per turn, which is not very substantial, but oh well. We don't really need to keep anybody on production at this point. We could go to uh, lots of science, or perhaps a lot of gold, or perhaps some influence, since I really am lacking on that department. And maybe a bit of extra growth. Sure, why not? Next turn. I don't know whose these armies are. I don't really know what's going on there, but... I don't feel very inclined to assist anybody in their faction quests. This doesn't seem very advantageous to me. Okay, you're moving some units around. What do you got? Dredges. With, again, some units and some stun and circular attacks and stuff. I mean, dredges are pretty good units. Hardy. Get them in in the front line, surrounded by enemies. They can do a lot of extra damage. It's not the worst thing in the world. Alright, this is the easiest way to find out where I can teleport. So there it is. I knew it was over here somewhere. We did get one over here. Alright, you're going to pop up this direction, and we are going to be able to attack red again. There's really not much point in attacking the roving clans. I mean, what can they do? Diddly squat. Eh, we'll go grab a couple of extra pearls, though. Okay. 
Um, anything else that I feel like I need to do at the moment? Am I missing anything really important? I don't think so. The Reaping Station will allow us to start going for a lot of Tier 2 luxuries. If I wanted to go f back for something like um, Native District, we could get a little bit of extra luxury production by assimilating the Dorgeshi. It honestly could be worth doing that. I mean, if it were one or two Dorgeshi villages, no, definitely not. But five? Possibly. Especially if we're able to grab some more. Like, I don't know, uh, let's see, you've got more Dorgeshi up over here. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Some Nidia. I mean, yeah, depending on who we uh, take over next and if they can add on to the... Oops, who's doing this? Blue, what do you think you're doing, Blue? Blue, 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 blue. That is a mistake, Blue. I actually don't really care that much. I'll be able to get it back. I want to continue with the uh, main plan here. Let's um, talk to Red and uh, give them a warning and say, you suck and I hate you. Now, if I wanted to do a declination of war, it would cost 152. I actually should have checked. What was the price before? I didn't even check. Ah, whatever. Let's just declare war on him now. I don't really care. Get up over here. And we are going to lay siege to Orionth. Or whatever it's called. The ruin gives me 80 more dust. Alrighty. I'm just going to pop over here and lay siege to another city. Or actually, I think I have to get into the land. Oh, I can't siege you from here? That's unfortunate. Found one of your roaming armies. I'm in position to still reinforce if necessary. If I did attack you, we probably would bring in the other city, but we would not bring in the roaming army. So technically now might be a good opportunity to attack. Even with all that extra fortification. Let's do it. We'll see if Zagarok brings out any of their reinforcements. Speaking of reinforcements, we have these guys over here. I'm gonna bump some of you guys forward a little bit. Something like this should be fine. Okay, uh, let's see. Your assassins have 92 attack. Militia are technically more dangerous. The dredges are far scarier to me, though, if I'm being completely honest. I kind of want to spread my attacks around a little bit to give them unsteady. But we definitely want to make sure that we are running forward with my hero and getting off the reinforcement points so we can stack up even more. So let's go ahead and reduce their attack values. Just a little tiny bit. Kind of wish that I had Palladian army, uh, weapons so that I could uh, win this even more resoundingly, but such is the way of things. Heroes kind of got stuck and couldn't figure out a way to get to the front line. These haunts have decided to just charge forward. Bold of you, truly. We might lose a couple of units here, honestly. We are taking on a lot. And he is bringing in reinforcements, so he's really committing to this fight. Um, again, the weak haunt is the one that's going first, which I find to be very frustrating. Make sure we step forward. Try burning down some of these units. Try doing some of that. Attack here. All right, let's go for this. Try to break break up their front, uh, their middle ground if possible. Punch through, weaken their morale. We are definitely not doing a ton of damage. Like my attack value is still not that great. Could certainly be a lot better. Okay, Hero still hasn't been able to do much. Counterattack here could potentially hurt. That was pathetic to the extreme. Very disappointed in you guys. Yeah, the Haunts have not been working out that well for me. They need far better attack value than we've given them so far. Still, they can tank pretty well. Credit where it's due. I'm going to have you back up and attack this guy. 
Let's try to burn down this guy's fortification. You guys attack here. You guys move forward. You move out of the way again, trying to clear out some of the reinforcement spaces, and here we go. Okay, fortifications down. Yeah, giving everybody an extra 100 hit points is the only reason we're struggling here at all. Obviously, if that were not an issue, we'd be doing great. Like wheat before the scythe. Not very poetic, really. Okay, pew. Hero gets to run forward and do some fun damage. Also, present himself as an opportunity to be attacked with his free counter. Helps a little bit. That guy's dead. Good. Okay, so now they get all their attacks. We may have to retreat both of the haunts out of here. Definitely trying to kill that haunt, but he's not doing a very good job of it, is he? You've run yourself into a very terrible situation. Well, I say that. I mean, dredges. They are where they are. Alright, we're going to run you out of here. We're going to have you run forward, and we can probably tank a good attack here. Let's try to burn down this unit. You attack here. You guys move out of the way and attack here. The hero does some good damage. Okay. So you should be dead this turn, no longer doing your sweeping attacks. You should be dead. When I say that, and then you're not dead. There we go. Okay. 22, that's it? I was kind of counting on a lot more than that. Disappointing. Oh, come the heck on. Bad timing for zeros. Alright, I think this haunt might be dead. Well, especially if you don't run very far. Alright. He's actually retreating in a weird pattern? Why why would you do that, pray tell? Also, these guys are flying units. They should be able to get out of the way easily. I don't know what's going on. Whatever. Same attacks as before. I think we'll be fine. They're going to pick mostly new targets anyway as the people they attack kill. Uh, die. So far, that has been exactly what's happened. So there wouldn't have been a lot of point in the effort in uh, assigning new targets. I think he's trying to retreat units because he wants to have something that can actually defend the city. Little does he know, I think he's committed himself to properly em emptying the garrison of two whole cities. So it should be very, very easy for me to finish them off. Goodbye, dredges. Or not. Still get to attack the dang haunts. And stun it, in fact. Oh, that was lucky, though. Alright. Well, we used up all six phases, but it looks like we are going to demolish both of the city garrisons, which means we should be able to push forward and take everything we want. We still have to contend with that roaming army. But it's not going to be that bad. Hero alone should be able to handle this guy now. I would love to get the Hyperium to get that really good sword on my hero, by the way. It's a fantastic weapon. Some of the best stats I've ever seen. Okay. So, that's that. <clears throat> that was easy. Thank you for the free city, you fool. Give me that Palladian. Alright, so you've used up your action point and can't do much. You can't do much either. Nonetheless, we'll pop forward. Stay nicely in reinforcement range. We've already seen this. You're angry at me. Can't reboost the wine, which does mean that we're now having some approval problems. We're not fervent anymore, just happy. I guess I could go for the right of way, um, but I don't. Regardless of diplomatic statuses, I can't remember if you can actually get a uh, trade route. Without the uh, peace and open borders. Let's just try it. only costs me one turn anyway. And then we'll build a couple of Ipitanes. I apparently am getting a pretty good amount of titanium. Far more than I am glass steel right now. That's interesting. So six turns until we have our next empire plan. But we're generating a pretty good amount of influence at the moment. Which of course can get even better over time. So my question is. Will you defend this city if I attack it? With your roaming army. Will you defend? There's no garrison. 
Well, I say that. Now there's a garrison because I wasn't able to apply a siege on them. Let's go ahead and apply that siege. Run you guys forward over here. I want to probably attack this army. Now, he can bring in even more people, but if he wants to, that's fine by me. He is going to run away. That was sort of what I thought was going to happen. We will search. Five Hyperium. Oh, that's almost the six that I wanted. Almost. Reaping station is done. Good. Uh, I'm currently working on five fungal blooms right now, so we don't have a lot of food to work with, but I could go for something. Let's say the Titan Bones. Yes, we'll do one over here. And there's one more somewhere. Where was it? There it is. Right here. Boom. Okay, that uses up all of my current food. Yeah, it's getting very expensive to do this, isn't it? Um, we can try to offset that a little bit so we don't lose much growth. But I'll keep the rest here on influence for the time being. I'm not hurting for science or money at the moment. I just want to grow my luxury production and so on. Okay, uh, do we attack the roaming army again next turn? Yes, I'm going to move you over here. This army's fresh and doesn't have the week ended, so we're going to have you attack this army. You are going to attack the city again. Anyone else? I think we've cleared out all of the pearls. They've stopped pillaging me, which I kind of thought was going to happen. It's one of the reasons I wasn't too worried about it. Uh, Moonleaf would be very nice to get, but I don't have any food left. So let's finish up my seven fungal blooms first, and then we'll worry about it. I'm just going to go ahead and apply these guys in the garrison again. There we go. Pop on in there. Anything else that is really important to me? Grass Silk is not that good. We're already getting all of the wine that we can. Oh, there is some more pearls. What do you know? Three of them. Okay. Anything in the neutral region that I care about? No. Now, we could place down, say, a watchtower over here, and that would give me a lot of good vision over blue. I think people underestimate the power of vision and watchtowers. They can be pretty nice. Whoever has more intelligence than their opponent is going to have a pretty significant advantage going into a war. Every time. Alright, it's winter now. We knew that was going to happen. Let's go ahead and attack. Okay, so this army is probably going to fight for their lives, and I doubt the city is going to reinforce. I did not mean to call in the reinforcing army. Gosh dang it. Alright, I guess we're not taking the city this turn. Oops. Whatever, just run forward and pelt them. They have no fortification bonus, which means they're going to they're gonna die pretty quick. All right, fine. Oopsie daisy. We're not taking the city. Zero, come the heck on. You're better than that. Apparently not. You stupid fungus horse people. I mean, what else would I call them except for stupid fungus horse people? That's what they are, right? Wow, you guys move uh, pretty far. You got good uh, vision and you do some pretty substantial damage. Assassins are definitely a dangerous unit. Especially because they can have dual wield. Which means they can have two one-handed weapons and get a ton of DPS. Now remember, our Gorgons can do that too. Our cavalry unit. So we could technically have that DPS and movement as well. It makes us a bit of a glass cannon, but it's pretty strong. I am actually seriously thinking about researching the Shamblers. Because if they are a uh, Mycaran unit with the Fungal Regen, they're going to be a very, very hefty frontline defense. Oh, hello. I see six more of your troops. Are you going to attack me? No? All right. I'll just have to kill you next turn, won't I? Ah, goody. We can finally go for the extra attack value on units. That's what I wanted to see. All right. Uh, let's see. So we actually did just get a bunch more pearls, so I guess now we can just have the armies pop out. We'll take these two and go grab these pearls. And these two and go grab these pearls. We're just going to have these two split up, grab whatever they can. We could actually pick up the Mycaran Tower of Fidelity. And what this does is it spends a lot of food, as if we were putting down a fungal bloom, because we are, and some pearls, but allows us to put down watchtowers that not only give us vision and also uh, give retaliation damage to all other players that are nearby. 
but it gives us tile output of the uh, tile directly under the tower and all adjacent ones. You guys remember when I played the Kapaku and we could place down a golem camp? It's basically like that, but for every watchtower on the map that we can access. Obviously pretty darn good. I don't think we need the Luxury Intensifier. The Abbey of Anomalies could be pretty good. Like, this would actually be really strong for us. We should do this. Um, what else? I don't need the Ward of Origa. I don't need the Strategic Intensifier, though it is pretty good. I could get the Winter Burrow. We'll go ahead and unlock this and this. Spend my pearls for those. So, I can get the Abbey of Anomalies. We can place it right here. That's it? Really? Alright, well, it counts as a district that does not reduce my approval, and it's going to double the output of this. Does it double the science? I have no idea. I guess we're going to find out now, aren't we? Why did I say it that way? Please explain to me why I just did that. That was cringy. Alright, um, anything else that we want to do? Let's see. You're not going to have any fortification next turn, which means when we attack, anyone who reinforces will have nothing. I am going to move you this way. We'll continue with the um, sieging, but I want to go ahead and just grab this ruin. Let's find out what's inside. Anything exciting? Dust. Alright. You guys are... actually still have some movement left. Um... Go up this way. Next turn. Bunch of pearls over here, too. Six more. We got time to pick all that up. Alright. We are going to go ahead and attack the city. We failed Lust for Loot, which I knew was going to happen. He attacked me, which is arguably a very dumb decision. But okay. I don't think he's even going to reinforce this. We're using up our action points so I can't take the city again. But I don't really care. Now, we're in an awkward position where, look at this. Like, he gets to have the city splitting up my line. There's a very bizarre position to be in. And we can actually go over here and include this city in the uh, battlefield as well. Very weird. Well, nothing for it. Um, let's just pick your targets and go. Of course, he attacked me, which means no fortification. That was going to be the case what, even if I attacked the city, so it doesn't matter. But it does mean... Oh, one hit point! It does mean that we're going to be able to just rip through them in no time flat. Oh, good. You do get to kill him before he does any damage. Always prefer to get the kills rather than just weaken. Reduces their DPS potential by a substantial margin. Oh, you have ranged units. Well, well, look at you. Predators. Predatore. I have no idea what to call them. Well, they're not nearly as good as my Ipitanes, so I'm not worried about it. Pew, 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 pew. Where's my skip animations? Uh, by the way, it looks like he is actually bringing in reinforcements, which is um, a very, very dumb decision on his part. The other city actually had some sort of reinforcements. Oh, wait, are these the reinforcements from the city we're already sieging? In that case, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. If, th if that's the only reinforcements he brought in, then that's fine. Because they had no fortification anyway, so it actually isn't uh, it is actually isn't much of a mistake. The hero is in a little bit of danger. But I'm still not too worried, and if he does attack me, whatever, I have the free counter. He'll be able to take a couple of units with him. Mostly I want to kill these dredgers, though. Dredgers? Just dredge. Just dredge. Wasn't that the name of the alien race in uh, Titan AE? That animated cartoon movie thing? I think it was. The Dredge. Yeah, that sounds right. I think my memory serves. Okay, we weren't quite able to kill that. We get another counter in on our hero. The hero might die here. Likely, in fact. But... Ooh, ooh, look at you survive with one hit point! Aha! How does it feel?! Whatever. Either, even if he did die, it doesn't matter. We'll get him back as long as we win the fight, and he'd be with one hit point. So it's it's literally the same as if he had died. It doesn't matter. It's just more for the lulls. Sucker forgotten. Oh, come on. Just freaking kill that militia. Thank you. All right. We win that fight. That was easy. And he has nothing left. Oh, he brought in all of his reinforcements. They're dead, too. <laughs> 
We're just gonna casually walk over here and lay siege so that you can't get any garrisons back. And then once we have some action points, I'm oh we have an action point here already. I'm just gonna casually take your city. Sucker. In fact, wait, he attacked me. I have action points here too. Let's just take this. Boom. Sucker. Alright, we get everything. Hey look, more glass steel. I don't have any food to spare at the moment. Ooh, Palladian. Want that. This is actually a pretty big region. I think we're gonna probably knock Red out of the game this time. But let's just check and see if he has anything I really want. He has no tech that I don't already have. Wait, I have to offer truce first. There we go. You have sewer system. Meh. You got Titan Bones. You got some Palladium, which you won't give me. Bah humbug, I hate you. I'm gonna just kill you. So my empire is still happy. By taking one more city, we will probably see that go away. Which is unfortunate. But I don't see any way around it at this point. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and just train up some Ipitanes. And maybe we change up our um, Ended to use Titanium resources. Since right now I don't have a ton of glass steel sitting around. I don't feel like giving them Palladian or Adamantian right now. Infantry Slayer? Cavalry Slayer? Which would I prefer? If we're going against the um, roving clans in the future, I'm probably going to wish we had Cavalry Slayer, so we'll, we'll stick with that for now. Your movement is only looking reduced, I think, because of the... Um... Winter? No, that's actually not correct. Okay. Camouflage. Free counter, I'm not going to spend that. I guess we'll go for the improved vision and sharp sense and make them just better. There we go. Fast, slightly better ended. Uh, we'll give you an upgrade in your armor as well. Done. Ipitanes, you also have tier 2 armor. So we haven't even been fighting at our full potential strength. Go ahead and add those on to you. You guys I will want to give an upgrade in weapons. What would I do though? Stick with the unsteady with adamantian? Or palladian? Or would I want to go back to the slowdown with staves? Probably stick with the unsteady. I have more adamantian than I do palladian. It would cost 11 though. That's 16 initiative versus 28 initiative. So, let's see. Same attack values. The only advantage of Adamantian is you also get a tiny bit of defense. But otherwise, it's pretty comparable. Palladian means you're faster. And you still have the extra, same extra attack value and damage. I generally much prefer Palladian. That looks kind of cool. Huh. But I don't have a lot of Palladian. But that might change in the future. Possibly. Alright. Uh, you know, it's funny. We did just conquer some cities right before an Empire plan. So we've just kind of increased our costs a substantial margin. Oops. So, wait. It did indeed double the effect of this uh, anomaly. Holy crud. Yeah, that was a pretty good uh, uh, Abbey of Anomalies. Wow. Look at that tile. Look at that tile. It's sexy. That's what it is. Okay, anything else I want to do? Not until we finish up some fungal blooms. You guys are going to go hunt down more pearls? What's that uh, line from Fiddler on the Roof? Frumacera? Is that the name of the character? I think so. Pearls. 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 If you guys haven't seen Fiddler on the Roof, it is probably my favorite musical. Which is an odd choice, admittedly. I don't think many people would say that. Hello, eyeless ones. But I would... Because I like it. I cannot get to the uh, other city this turn. We're going to go ahead and search here. We find a conflict resolution between the Hernas and the Tateki. The Orcs. And the Jotun. Defeat one of the armies. Do I care which one wins? No. I guess I'll, I could just pick whichever one is nearby. We don't have enough movement to get over here anyway. Let's just go ahead and kill one. I'm just going to go ahead and auto-resolve. And not lose anything. And there we go. We finish. We get 15 Hyperium! And also an item. Well, what item, pray tell, did I get? Nobody knows. The important thing is I getting that Hyperium can now put the better sword on my hero. So all of a sudden, my hero just became so much stronger. What's this? Oh, this is the item. The Watchman's Pelt. Ooh. Winter Movement Immunity. Well now. That seems pretty good. 14 and 72 as opposed to 14. This is just better in general. That's a really, really good pelt. I'll take it. 
Could also throw Ghost Force on here. Cost me a lot of dust, but I have a lot of dust. Do you want to have an invisible army that can just pop out of anywhere and kill people? I guess I will. Why not? Let's have a Ghost Force. Could also add on some sharp sense and stuff, make you a little bit better. We can throw in a shield, too, I just realized. Out of all the shields that I have, 14 and 15%, as opposed to 6, 20%, and 10%. Break wall makes my hero have better DPS, as well as some pretty comparable survivability. Um, yeah. Do I prefer more life? Attack value? Or would I like a mix of defense and and damage? I think I'll take the damage. Let's give him break wall as well. Look at that hero. Look how cool he looks. All right, that's going to cost me a little bit, but I don't care. Done. What an awesome hero you're going to be. Okay, let's uh, get down over here, I guess. Still not in range to just uh, take the city outright, but we should be able to fix that shortly. Glad we ended up doing that mission. Usually I just ignore that because I don't think it's very important, but 15 Hyperium. Not bad, yo. Not bad at all. So let's keep in mind we could be placing down watchtowers once I finish with these fungal blooms. Spend some pearls. Uh, we are losing a lot of food at the moment, but I'm going to keep building up influence for better uh, empire plans. Okay, next turn. I'm hoping the third Urken is going to spawn over here at some point. I would like to control an Urken. I still, by the way, have no idea where Maribond is. Is that it? Wait. I think it's right here. Who are the Hernas? With the Watchman's pelt in your sack bag, the furs matted and smeared with blood, you resolved to visit the Hernas tribe and who triggered this massacre. That Tatiki deserved that much. Get exotic alloys. Well, what do you know? Oh my gosh, they are so far away. <laughs> well, it doesn't seem likely that I'm getting over there, does it? Still, it's a way of getting the exotic alloys again. They're giving me a second chance. Let's get over here, explore. We get 30 spices. I'm a big fan of that. Still not enough. We need 69 now, if I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and just lay you under siege, but we're not going to attack for a little bit. I'm going to wait until the Empire plan is done. It's only two turns away. Let's just explore and stoof. 100 dust. Hi. Found some more of your troops. I guess I could kill them for uh, good measure. Let's see. We are actually making some food again. We're going to go for the uh, Moonleaf. And the Palladian. I don't need the Glass Steel right now. Getting another temple out over here is not a bad idea because I could really use some extra teleportation. But again, that's going to take away a lot of my food. We really have nothing to build at the moment. I'll build a couple of ended, but I've, I've got absolutely nothing to build until we finish with some more research, uh, research. We need to finish researching as fast as we freaking can. Also, the city is only happy right now. So the sooner I can get this whole uh, bread and circuses to reduce the expansion disapproval, the better. All right, next turn. So if you're smart, you'll run away right now. If you're smart. Are you smart? Or are you stupid? Okay, we get into the era four, which means now we're gonna have access to our dust armor and weapon, which is good. Having a lot of extra dust right now is certainly nice. We also reveal our Hyperium and Mithrite. Dust Water, Hydromiel, Pixie Blood, and Red Sang. I like Dust Water and Hydromiel quite a bit. Empire Plan Level 4 is now available. So, did we discover anything? Yes, there's some Mithrite under our city directly right here. So, once we get the right tech, we'll be able to start producing that automatically. Some more right there. There's some Hyperium. More Mithrite. More Hyperium. Ooh. Actually, now I could almost justify going for a Strategic Intensifier. Using my pearls. Not luxury. Yeah. Double resource uh, extraction plus a lot of science. I will unlock the blessing. We need a shocking number of pearls. Okay, there's some pearls up here we can go grab. 
He ran away, as I expected. Hello. More moon leaf. Used up all my movement, but we found the rest of this area. Rumbling stones. Again, we're just going to sit back and wait until we have our um, empire plan for next turn. Reduce the cost as much as possible. We have found a ton of dust orchid and hydromiel. Dust orchid's quite good as well. And yeah, a total of uh, five extra strategic resources. This is why I like expanding before we hit these eras. We find all sorts of good stuff. All right, next turn. What we going to get? Winter ends in several turns. The winters do get progressively longer throughout the game. So do be aware of that. Uh, Palladium extractor is done. We are now producing 1.5 per turn. Okay. What's this? Nidia village that never got killed. No, 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 no. Turn a frickin' round. Gosh dang it, you idiots. Whew, I had the wrong army selected. Alright, Empire Plan. We have 809 influence to work with. I can get a ton of food if I had several thousand influence points. Obviously, I do not. The best I can hope for is either better building production, which I don't really have any use for. Buyout production. Approval. Or attack on units. Man, I cannot afford much, can I? I suppose I'll just take the... No, I want the science. I, I can't justify getting any of this. I don't need the uh, cost reduction on units. I don't need building production. I can't get vision. I don't want vision. I don't need the extra dust. I mean, I guess I could do this. Yeah, wow. We need so much dang influence at this point of the game. All right, you're the one that I wanted to send up here to go grab pearls. You are also going to grab pearls. Five more there. Is that more or less it? Nope, there's more over here. Grab those. Okay, I think we're just going to go ahead and finish you off now that we have done our empire plan. And I'm just going to go ahead and auto-resolve. And you're very dead. And green... Oh, sorry, green. Red... Have you been removed from the game? No, because you got another city. Oh, you annoying little booger. All right. More Palladian. Fine. Get up here. I still want to remove you from the game. I don't like having a rival moving around and doing things. Pearls here. Four more of those. So Bread and Circuses is going to get done. Um, and then what? Era 4. Endless mechanisms will get me a lot of goodies. We'll be able to search all ruins a second time. Cultural indoctr indoctrination for extra faction assimilations, okay. I don't need alliances. Advanced harvesters is okay. I think I'll just go straight for the rare metal foundry to start getting the Mithrite and uh, Hyperium. I might want to consider going back and grabbing things like Native District for fairly cheap. So I can get something like the Dorgeshi. Uh, we have some Hyperium, so I actually can do things like Imperial Funding, which does increase my science a lot. So that should be a higher priority than the Native District. I mean, there's a lot of things to do here if you have the strategics to actually build some really good buildings. And for the most part, we do. Okay, next turn. I have very little to be doing right now in my capital city. I guess we'll go for the extra dust. Um, I will be able to get the strategic intensifier. There's the titan bones done, finally. What happened? What did I just click? Hostile infiltration. Blue. Decrease my science production. In my entire empire. That's rude. All right, well, cold operator is already a thing. Let's go ahead and just add on that extra 15% production because, I mean, hey, why not? Um, and then I think we just start generating a lot of extra dust, at least until dust refinery is done. Blue, is it really wise to poke the bear? I mean, I want you to think that through for a moment and answer me honestly. Is it really wise to antagonize me when I'm already going on a massive conquest spree? I didn't think so. 
All right, so I don't know what they're going to have over here. Um, I see the ocean, so I'm guessing this is literally the last city they can have. I think we've pushed them off into the sea. You're going to go for those pearls. You are going to go for these pearls. And then, honestly, that's kind of it. At least for you. So you can probably safely head home. I don't know why it's acting as if you, you do still have movement. Well, then go over here. Don't mind these guys. They're not going to hurt anybody. They've been wandering around here for centuries. Uh, let's see. More grass silk, more glass steel. After all this time, we are still not producing much strategics at all. There's the bread and circus is done. Alright, you get up here. We can't quite get to the city, but there's some more Hyperium, which means we absolutely do want to take the city. There's another region over here he could try to settle. Please don't. I am so not in the mood. I am going to go ahead and start working on another temple. Right here, so I'll be able to teleport around a little bit more uh, effectively. We are uh, out of time for this video, so I do need to be ending this. Hey look, more pearls, grab. But I kind of want to just go ahead and kill these guys, so let's go a little bit longer. What are these guys? These are the Jotun? Yes, they are. Okay, dust refinery is done. Walk up here. Let's get these guys over to the ruin. We'll search here, see if there's anything interesting. Pixie blood up there, by the way. Which gives uh, extra health regen on all cities, which is just sort of okay. Attack, auto resolve, Dunskies, and now Red has been officially removed from the game. Finally! All right. So that's nice. I'm going to start moving the armies over here toward green because I'm pretty sure our truce will expire in the near ish future. And I want to kill them. Also, concrete and virtual. So explore two more temple ruins before the end of this winter next turn. Well, that ain't happening. Much as I would like it to, it literally ain't happening. So, no. Alright, this is where we're going to end this video. We have expanded a lot. We have murdered all of red. Next is to murder all of green. Probably research some ships, start exploring the ocean. And when we get bored, go kill blue. That is going to be the plan. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed, and if so, I ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.